Show you some of the action from earlier today and talk about course knowledge, Karen, the Seville member, Elena Sharp at 17. Well, that part had to be at her mouth a little bit with the tee shot to end up there, but all's well that ends well. Playing in the afternoon wave with another superstar of the LPGA Tour, Karen Celine Boutier. Well, and this is on the on the par three, and these par threes at Seville Golf and Country Club are not particularly easy. So, anytime you can make a birdie on one of these par threes, the player Nelly supplanted at the top of the Rolex rankings, her fellow American Lily Avu at the fifth. Well, and it's kind of a surprise to see her have that long of a putt on that hole because. Lily is still taking advantage there with the birdie. The Swede Len Grant played at Arizona State not far away from here. This for Eagle at five. There you go, and that was one of those Eagles. With eight under from the morning wave setting the pace, Lydia Coe's Hall of Fame quest resumes this week. This from off the green at six. Have we seen this before? Well, I was going to say, Grant, have you seen Lydia Coe chipping in a few times a in your career? A couple of times. Yeah. Just a couple or a thousand, maybe. Yeah. Little teeny bit of breeze, Blank. just slightly hurting. And that looked good from the tee. Oh, it's absolutely tremendous with a long iron on these tough par threes. Won't be too much of a problem though for her from there. Hyoju Kim, one of the best percentages to win among the three tournament favorites. Then again, you could probably say that about any week for Hyoju. I, I think when you when you try and do that, if you just have one singular shot in mind, it's very easy to pick the club and choose the shot that you want to play. And then when all of a sudden you start to start to introduce more clubs and more options. And 155 yards. Just keep an eye on how much she can launch this. Relative to Ayak, who's 20 yards behind her, Lilyview just a huge advantage. Oh, that's lovely. And, and that is one of the factors of this golf course. The longer players. Boutier, also with a seven iron. And again, like Lydia, good angle to that back right hole location. Able to be really aggressive. Now, Nasa. This also a seven iron. That's rather tasty. Nearly perfect. Farther and easier in the afternoon warmth than it does in the morning when it's cool. It's almost a club cake. More. Yeah, beauty. This putt to get to four under, just maybe a little movement left to right. Somebody asked me today if fairways were painted. It's in such good condition. <laughs> How about that? Whoa. Well, there you go, Karen. You said it. Take your medicine. Yep. Give yourself a chance. Back we go to the 10th, and Hyoju Kim with her second. This was a moment ago. Tracking. Yep. Should be moving from right to left towards the back of the green. A lot of subtle breaks in these greens, nothing huge. Oh, yeah. That's a bonus. Sure is. Alum Anna Nordquist from just off the green at 13. And guess what club she has? That would be a putter. From off the green and into the hole. We've seen that a few dozen. Yes. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot there. I mean, she, she created a good angle for her. Just don't do anything. Don't try to get too cute here. Oh, that was executed beautifully. Whoa. <laughs> she made that, that look cute. so much yes. easier than it was. 112 yards. She's got room in front of this whole location. Eight paces on. 
Anything just left of the flag would be the conservative play. And of course, Rose Zhang was uh, a junior not that long ago. Now here she is, an LPGA winner playing the par 5 12th. Well, and creating that really good angle to, to attack this whole location. Everything around the hole kind of tilts left to right. So we touch downhill back towards this hole. All right. Now that's how it's done. Quickly to six under. I have to dig down deep for some of that creativity. Touch a helping wind, 159 yards. Whole location four paces above this ridge. And another Whoa. beauty from Lilia. She'll have that to get to seven under, which would be the best round of the afternoon. Yep. Major champion, Hyoju Kim. She's come close at a couple of other majors as well. This is a 13. She's part of that group. Nine of the top ten in the world Jeez. are here this week. And up ahead, Lilia for birdie. And here is Alim Kim at the 17th. She takes on that back hole location, and oh, that duck couldn't stand to watch. Oh. Here is Anna Nordquist going to have a go at it. You can go into the water if you're not careful. If you have dropped in off the back. Oh, this has a chance. Oh. When the sun's out, the wind picks up a little. Everything gets really firm. It's six to one half and does it the other K. Like it might, it gets a little bit firmer, but the ball flies farther. You're having shorter clubs into the green. Uh, but maybe the softness is a good thing to have too. All right, second shot at this short par four for Lilia. Straightforward. It was just a matter of deciding what type of shot, but this one getting a little away from her. She just never got it hit firmly enough through that first part of being off the green. You know, Benton has Auntie Benton. Nelly, you know, to help out as well. All right, here's Lily at 17. A little bit of an upslope between her and the hole. She takes it in low. Yep. You can see it kind of stopped it up a little bit on that upslope of times today 177 yards to the hole seven iron in hand aggressive line wow oh, well, i mean with a seven iron in your hand you you can be more aggressive couple of weeks ago came out and got a sneak preview of Seville and uh, she feels refreshed and we're seeing that form because of it here's Carlo de Seganda finishing up on the ninth here's an example of what you said earlier a lot of forgiveness at Seville there is and you can you can miss the fairways and still be okay and get away from it tied for the lead Padre Ananarukarn of Thailand second Left herself in a good spot in the fairway there. Fairly long shot in, but she's going to set herself up for a chance to to take the lead. Yes, Pajari ties her career low in this her sixth season on the LPGA Tour, a 63. And how about that finish?